Alright, Shalom, all praise to Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh Shai, Devil Honest to the Elders of GMS, and uh, much love, much love out to you brothers coming by. Remember, y'all gotta keep positive, man, to the elect. Alright, the 144,000 and the one third of Israel, Yasha Allah, okay? Bon Yasha Allah, man, we rising right in front of their face, man. The beautiful news right now. When the Most High says that he's gonna rile us up, he's gonna rile us up, okay? Now, y'all. This video is going to show you a little tiny taste of how the Most High is going to make us that uh, that lion again. That 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 fearful lion the Most High is giving us back our spirit. But this is a story about this cop, ex-reservist, ex-cop. He wanted to join hand in hand with Babylon. And Babylon, uh, how you say, bit him on the ass. Okay, gave his life for Babylon and Babylon spit on him. Because he a Jake and the curses. He forgot about the curses. But let's get into the story. Okay. We begin, though, with breaking news tonight. In and this is an old story. I mean, it's about on the 7th. Okay, today's the uh, 8th or 9th. Don't quote me on that, but um, it's on the 7th. But I collected some more information. This is to bring you up to speed. Home for a killer. Authorities say he's got the means to inflict mass casualties in a mission calling for precisely that. This is the man that police all across Southern California, as you know, are trying to find and may now be one step closer to locating. Christopher Jordan Dorner, ex-Navy reservist, ex-LAPD officer with a grudge against the LAPD. Now, if you see him, do not, I repeat, do not approach him. Get someplace safe, then contact authorities. The breaking news tonight, police have located his burned-out truck near Big Bear Lake. Now, that's about 100 miles east of Los Angeles. That's the truck there burned out. They have not, however, located Dorner. Just moments ago, we learned that the FBI went to the suspect's home in Las Vegas... We do not yet know, however, what, if anything, they discovered there. Meantime, back at Big Bear Lake in California, the L.A. Times is reporting that fresh tracks were spotted nearby. We ourselves know that authorities are going door-to-door -to -door in the surrounding area, that checkpoints are up on local roads, and that the FAA has barred all local news choppers from the airspace overhead. As for the suspect himself, authorities say that Christopher Dorner's not only armed, not only dangerous and vowing revenge on his former, uh, uh, former LAPD officers, but also people close to them. In a strange and chilling online manifesto allegedly written by Dorner, he says, and I quote, I never had the opportunity to have a family of my own. I'm terminating yours. And as for his capabilities, a local police chief had this to say, quote, of course he knows what he's doing. We trained him. In addition to the manifesto, I learned today that Dorner sent me a package to my office here at CNN in New York. The package arrived on February 1st. As you might imagine, I receive a lot of strange packages and letters, and we have a system in place for dealing with them. I did not personally see this package or know about it until today. The package contained a DVD and a bullet-riddled keepsake coin. That's the coin right there. It's called a challenge coin. It's from former, uh, his former boss, LAPD Police Chief William Braddon, who joins me shortly to talk about it. That coin had three bullet holes in the center, as you can see, and one partial hole on its edge, on the upper right-hand part of the, e of the, uh, the coin. We're going to show you more of the contents of that package in a moment. In addition, we're going to talk to a veteran crime reporter and crime fighter, John Miller, criminal psychologist Chris Mahandi about ways of stopping a revenge killer and Chris Lawrence on the kind of sniper training that the suspect has but we begin with Randy Kay who's bringing us up-to-date uh, information on the man and the manhunt we are under attack that was the word from one California police lieutenant after at least three officers were shot early Thursday morning one officer died police say the shooter is this man 33 year old Christopher Jordan Dorner a former LAPD officer who was fired in 2008. Police say two of the officers were shot around 1.30 in the morning here in Riverside. They were sitting in their patrol car parked at a nearby stoplight at Magnolia and Arlington Avenues. That's when investigators say Dorner ambushed them and opened fire. A good Samaritan called for help using the officer's car radio. One of the officers died. The other was taken to Riverside Community Hospital. The reason for the rampage? It appears to be Dorner's attempt at revenge for losing his job and an effort to clear his name. All of that found online in a long, rambling manifesto allegedly posted by Dorner. In it, there are direct threats against police officers Dorner once worked with, as well as threats against their families. It reads, there will be an element of surprise where you work, live, eat, and sleep. I have the strength and benefits of being unpredictable, unconventional, and unforgiving. 
Throughout the manifesto, Dorner accuses the other officers of costing him his career, also of racism and use of excessive force. About an hour before now, that... Now, come on now. This is a LAPD officer himself telling you racism goes on. We know it. If you're ignorant enough to think that racism is gone, you're, I mean, you're just a dummy. You're just, I mean, stop watching the videos. I mean, go kill yourself. Because pretty much you're dead already. You're a zombie. Because you don't know nothing. Okay? You don't live a life that... And we're cursed, okay? Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, we are cursed. Okay? Until we come back to the law, statutes, and commandments of the Most High, and come back to the knowledge itself, come back to Yahweh, Bashim, Yahweh Shai, we're going to be cursed. Don't join unto Babylon. Babylon ain't going to save you. Okay? No matter how many years you serve in the, the army, how many police years you put in, how much volunteer hours, they still going to, you still a nigga in their eyes, man. They hate you. Okay? Don't, they're in the right spirit. They ain't wrong. The Most High created them to be what they're doing. We're, we're the ones going against the grain. Okay? But he's claiming racism because he knows, man. He knows. You gonna tell me you just did this for no reason? But I'm gonna get into some script. Fatal shooting in Britain. This is Ecclesiasticus. This is Ecclesiasticus 39 and 28. And it says, this, There are spirits that are created for vengeance, which in their fury lay on sore strokes, and in their time of destruction they pour out their force and the and the appease the wrath of him that made them. The most high made them like that. The Most High is the one to make him get all that training, get all the man hours in. He didn't even have him have a family. No woman, no family, no kids. Okay, so now he's fully dedicated to putting foot in your ass, man. Y'all going to be racist and think y'all going to do this shit to us? Look, you paying back? This is just a small, you ain't even seen spiritual power yet. I ain't even seen the, the Samsons, the Elijahs, okay? The prophets of the Lord are coming back. When they, when they get it instituted, it's curtains. But now you're getting a taste of Jake without the power. You know, a little bit more power than what you got. All right? So he's created for vengeance. Riverside, police believe Dorner shot another officer here in Corona, about 13 miles away. The bullet just grazed him. The officer in this incident had been assigned to protect other officers who Dorner had allegedly... The dude went and shot officers... <laughs> They assigned the special officers to protect officer, and he went and shot him, like the movies, man. The spirit told him where he was at, the following vehicle, and he went and shot at him, okay? He threatened in his online postings. The officers um, were suddenly fired upon with a uh, shoulder weapon. Officers were able to return fire. One officer sustained a grazed wound to his head. The vehicle sustained uh, numerous hits. The officers are okay, but Dorner got away. Immediately, the California Highway Patrol issues what's called a blue alert to law enforcement, warning them a gunman considered armed and extremely dangerous is on the run. The blue alert is activated for nine California counties, stretching all the way south to San Diego, where police say the attempted hijacking of a boat could be linked to Dorner. Dorner's police badge was also found in the city. But Dorner's shooting spree may have started days ago here in Irvine. On Sunday morning, Monica Kwan, the daughter of a police official named in Dorner's alleged manifesto, was shot and killed along with her fiancé while sitting in their car. Damn! On Wednesday, police officially named Dorner as the suspect. Oh, morning, listen Kwan, to that, man. Of a police this man ran named... up on the kid. Hey, that's... let me read it again so y'all think it's a joke. This is Ecclesiasticus. 39 and 28, there are spirits that are created for vengeance and in their fury lay on sore strokes. That's a sore stroke. Getting hit, gunned down, that's a sore stroke. Getting hit with a sword, that's a sore stroke. Whatever kind of in, instrument the Most High uses for them to use that death stroke, that's what they do. Now he's using guns, might be using knives. Who knows? He's trained, man. This dude is trained. He, he's, a, he's a weapon. All right, and it says there be spirits that are created for vengeance, <laughs> which in their fury lay on sore strokes, and in their time of destruction they pour out their force and appear and appease the wrath of him that made him. The Most High laughing, man. He loves this, man. He's laughing right along with us, man. Okay, it's the spirit that's putting on me to laugh, man. It's just funny. 
Because y'all going to be racist and hate on us and you think nothing going to happen. Shit's happening now, son. To Dorner. Dorner's police badge was also found in the city. But Dorner's shooting spree may have started days ago here in Irvine. On Sunday morning, Monica Kwan, the daughter of a police official named in Dorner's alleged manifesto, was shot and killed along with her fiancé while sitting in their car. On Wednesday, police officially named Dorner as the suspect. Kwan, who was 27, was the daughter of retired Los Angeles police officer Randall Kwan. In Dorner's alleged online rantings, he blamed Randall Kwan for mishandling the appeal for his termination. Dorner lost his appeal in 2011. Before Monica Kwan was killed, Dorner allegedly made this threat in his writings. I never had the opportunity to have a family of my own. I'm terminating yours. Police here know what they're up against. Neighborhoods are on lockdown, intersections sealed off, officers on edge. So much so that two undercover LAPD officers opened fire on a pickup truck they thought was Dorner's. Turns out it was two women delivering newspapers. One was reportedly shot in the hand, the other in the back, but they'll be okay. Meantime, the LAPD says it's doing all it can to ensure the safety of their personnel and their families. Of course he knows what he's doing. We trained him. Uh, also a member of the armed forces. Listen uh, to that. <laughs> it is... Uh, of their personnel and their families. Of course he knows what he's doing. We trained him. Uh, he was also a member of the armed forces. Uh, it, is, uh, it is extremely uh, uh, worrisome and scary, uh, especially to the police officers. In <laughs> Those officers... All right, with that, let's go to another video, play this, and then we'll be all right. 33 minutes past the hour. Uh, hopes mm. of a big development this morning in the hunt for a fired LAPD cop have now faded. Slark you. Police say a reported sighting of 33-year-old Christopher Dorner. Well, it Right, turned out go. to be a hoax, if you can believe that. Dorner is accused of killing three people and has vowed to target LAPD officers and their families. Dorner's burned-out vehicle was found at the Big Bear Lake Ski Resort that is 80 miles or so from Los Angeles, but the suspect was nowhere to be found. There was uh, a murder, an attempt murder, of three law enforcement officers today. And... The person responsible for that is still on the street, and we don't know what he's going to do. We don't. We know what he's capable of doing, and we need to find him. Dorner reached out to CNN, sending a package to our Anderson Cooper, which contained a hand label. All right, man, with that, let me go ahead and get some more scripts. Y'all seen the logistics of it, the breakdown, pretty much breakdown of the story, but I got some scripts I wanted to get. This is Romans. This is Romans 12 and 19. Romans 12 and 19, and it says, Dearly beloved, avenge not yourselves, but rather give place unto but rather give place unto wrath. For it is written, Vengeance is mine, and I will repay, saith the Lord. Therefore, if thine enemies hunger, feed him, and in thirst give him drink, for in for in so doing, thou shalt help coals on fire on his head. Be not overcome of evil, but overcome evil with good. Just like the Native Americans taught you good, just like the innocent, the sheep-like slaves that was brought over here, now we're innocent. Now the Most High is taking over. This is his fight now. It's his thing. That's why these, 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 these prophecies are moving like this. All right? Let's read that again. The important part and it says, uh, verse 19, Vengeance is mine, and I will repay, saith the Lord. And this is part of the repayment, all right? And this is Genesis 49. Genesis 49, and voice, verse 9. Genesis 49, verse 9, and it reads, It says, Judah is a lion's whelp from the prey, my son, thou art gone up. And stopped down and stooped down and crouched as a lion and as an old lion who shall rise him up. Okay, the Most High is rising us up, right in front of these devils' face, and y'all ain't even got and y'all ain't even taste spiritual power yet. So with that, I'll praise the Yahweh Shimmy Yahweh Shot.